four NFT tokens that you need to know about. Phantasma, a custom-built blockchain and ecosystem. Starly, a launchpad and marketplace for NFTs. Theta Network, earn passive income for watching your favorite content. Luxo Network, putting your physical goods on the blockchain. NFTs. By now you must have heard about NFTs when your older relatives are starting to ask you, what the heck is a bored ape? It's safe to say it has become mainstream. Still, it's one of the things to know what they are and it's another thing to understand how to create and use them. Not to worry, in today's video we will be looking at 4 NFT tokens that are solving the current challenges with NFTs. This is part of KuCoin's Explore Crypto Sector series and this is the NFT token sector. But before we go any further, the disclaimer. Nothing in this video should be considered financial advice. This video is not an endorsement of these tokens or projects. I'm just here to educate you about these projects. Please do your own research to the point where you can form your own opinion before making any investment or financial decision. With that out of the way, we can start our journey into the NFT sector so you can start making better and more informed financial decisions. Phantasma. Phantasma is a custom-built blockchain and ecosystem that focuses on enabling gamers, artists, and grandmas to take advantage of blockchain technology. If you're wondering if you heard me correctly, I did say grandmas. That's because Phantasma's mantra since they started has been, if grandma can't use it, mainstream won't. Phantasma Network uses a staking mechanism and dual token system to give users access to different digital goods and services. So let's talk about those tokens. Soul. Soul is the governance token of the Phantasma blockchain. The evolution of Phantasma is driven by Soul holders. Your voting power increases with the square root of the amount of Soul you stake, as well as the staking duration. Staking Soul generates the fuel token, KCAL. More on that later, and that enables you to claim your own Phantasma name on chain. That means Bill can send funds to Rob instead of sending funds to P2KJ8W. You get the idea. KCAL. KCAL fuels everything in the Phantasma ecosystem from simple transactions to staking or minting your own NFTs. Just remember, the best way to earn KCAL is by staking your soul. What can you do? All right, so you got your soul and you got your KCAL, so now what? Well, you'll definitely want to check out their Ghost Market, which claims to be the most powerful cross-chain NFT marketplace in the world. Ghost Market is a place to buy, sell, and create smart NFTs. Creating a new NFT is done through the U Mint NFT Factory. Whether you've minted a thousand NFTs or none, using U Mint NFT Factory is easy and can quickly help you create NFTs on five different blockchains at the time of this video. A really neat feature is that Phantasma NFTs are created to be on demand. That means you won't have to pay upfront to mint NFTs. They only get minted once they are bought, saving you a lot in the process. The ghost market is also where you will go to buy and sell your NFTs. Just browse and find the NFTs or collections you're interested in. Remember, none of this is financial advice. I'm just demonstrating how to use their platform. Let's say I'm interested in this lucky tiger. I can click on it. It, I can check it out. I can also see who made it, the current bid price, and more. I could check out more NFTs from this creator or see the other NFTs in this collection. When you're ready to buy, just make sure you have your soul tokens ready. There's honestly so much to cover with Phantasma that that would be a full video. We haven't even touched the dApps or the gaming side yet. So if you want us to cover more in a future video, please let us know in the comments. And if this video has been helpful so far, feel free to show your thanks by hitting that like button and please consider subscribing to the KuCoin YouTube channel. Starly Network. Starly Network is a community-driven project that aims to provide its community with a platform to create and share gamified NFT collections. It is built on the Flow Network, which was made to support the next generation of games, apps, and NFTs. NFTs are becoming the new paradigm for content creators who wish to earn from their content. However, there is still a lack of tools for helping people monetize these assets. Starly Network aims to lower the barrier of entry to the world of digital collectibles by providing a set of tools for turning their content into non-fungible tokens, 
NFTs. Starly is the token and it is at the center of the Starly ecosystem and it is the heart and soul of the Starly network. Currently, Starly offers staking for 15% APY. Rewards are paid out in you guessed it, Starly. There are also different reward tiers depending on the amount of Starly tokens you've staked. The tiers include silver, gold, and platinum. Each tier offers different benefits such as Easter eggs to find, special badges, voting rights, and access to exclusive features. The ecosystem is made up of three participants, creators, collections, and users. Creators are just like they, what they sound. They create NFTs to add to the Starly network. But currently, if you want to be a featured creator, you'll need to apply for it. The collectors, well, collect. This is done in a fun and gamified way. Starly Network gives collectors a score based on how many cards you collect. More importantly, the rarity of the cards, with Legendary being the rarest, top collectors are rewarded with Starly tokens. And then the users. If all of that seems too complicated or too much, don't worry, you can just be a user and enjoy the ecosystem by staking your Starly tokens. You'll also be able to enjoy your tier rewards and checking out your favorite artists and collections yeah that's that's available let me know in the comments what role you want to play in the starly network ecosystem theta network in recent years the online video industry has exploded more and more people are using services like netflix to stream their favorite shows but one problem remains the high cost of bandwidth theta network has come up with a solution to make peer-to-peer -peer content delivery a reality by removing the reliance on servers so you would be getting your content from other people rather than a server so this is how it works it uses blockchain and peer-to-peer -peer technology to deliver high-quality videos to users. Basically, you offer up some of your spare bandwidth to their network when you aren't using it. You technically become the server. When you do this, you get rewarded in their native token, Theta. Because there are no centralized servers, users can enjoy live, on-demand content with the added benefit of reduced cost and improved privacy. Earning T-Fuel. When you stake your Theta, share bandwidth, or watch streams on Theta TV, you can also earn T-Fuel. T-Fuel can be used to donate to streamers on Theta TV, spend it on the shop, or use it to purchase a subscription to your favorite streamers. Now, I know what you're asking. Dan, what about the NFTs? All right, let's get to that part. NFTs. After delivering a solution to video streaming, Theta Network is now diving into NFTs since they launched Theta Drop. Theta Drop is powered by the Theta Network and is a next generation NFT marketplace for digital collectibles. They have already arranged drops with huge brands and artists like World Poker Tour, Katy Perry, and American Idol. Their marketplace is easy to navigate and offers you information you'd expect, like who created it, what collection is it from, and past owners of the NFT. I hope you remember how to earn T-Fuel because that's the currency used for purchasing these NFTs. What's really cool though is when you buy an NFT on Theta Drop, you mint and earn T-Drop tokens. T-Drop tokens can be staked and earn you voting rights on Theta Drop. As you can see, Theta Network has a lot going on and it all starts with Theta, available on KuCoin. Luxo Network. Luxo is a project aiming to be a type of crypto economic infrastructure. Luxo has a lot planned and currently the team is working on solving the issue of universal public profiles. The digital world, we have multiple identities consisting of numerous usernames, passwords, security questions, recovery questions, emails, phone numbers, and in various profiles and applications. In fact, most of us have so many digital identities that we do not even remember them all. The release of blockchain based on universal public profiles will change the way we interact in the digital world. These universal public profiles enable you to have a permanent ID on the blockchain which will make it possible to seamlessly log into any service you need while preserving your privacy. Luxo is also doing something interesting with digital certificates. Digital certificates can be thought of like NFTs. They are a great way of having a permanent identity for physical and digital products. They can be used to show who owns a product digitally and 
physically. Here's an example. If you've ever been to a comic convention, comic con, you may have bought an autograph from someone who was famous. Depending on whose autograph you got, it may be valuable in the physical world. However, it won't have any digital value. This is where Luxo comes in. Their protocol allows users to make digital certificates of their physical goods. Your digital certificate will have a unique identifier just like it would in the NFT world. Now let's talk about the native token, Luxo, L-Y-X-E. It is where the worlds of gaming, design, fashion, and social media collide. It also happens to be the world's first reversible ICO, initial coin offering, and the LYXE token supports three major pillars. The first of which is data governance, which means Luxo is providing a universal, transferable identity, allowing users on the platform to prove their identity and take all of their data with them. If they choose to leave the chain. The second pillar is virtualization, which is all about creating virtual assets and services on the blockchain. The final pillar is asset tokenization, which is based on the concept of digital collectibles. The team has claimed to be in touch with a number of English Premier League football clubs and actively in talks with fashion brands too. It all sounds great, but keep in mind, nothing has been delivered yet. Let's hope they follow through with their mainnet launch sometime later this year. NFTs are still new and still being developed. A lot of the use cases are still finding their demand. So please do your own research and form your own opinion before making an investment. But when you are ready to invest, all of these coins and many more are available on KuCoin. Be sure to check out the link in the description to get 20% off your trading fees. If you found this video helpful, then you might find some of these other videos helpful too. Please go check them out, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and this has been a KuCoin video.